will be ours. You lost this war before you started, fool. <laughs> Oh, hello everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Helian tonight along with... Peace to Mike Lieutenant Rukir at your service. Um, <laughs> Currently has the wrong helmet. Give me a second on that. <laughs> Moreover, I was just supposed to have a helmet. Yes, I'm just using a mask at the moment. <laughs> there and there. Actually, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> What there. do you do? Okay. I, only see, I only see a white screen at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> what? It... You know what? Fine. It, it is uh, the Spooktober, so what does well go on in? 
<laughs> and yeah, welcome back to Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 2. Not Chaos Rising, even though it is still called that. Uh, yeah, th this is still the base game that we're playing and likely we'll be finishing up today, even though I said that last week as well. So let's just get on with this. <laughs> okay. Commander, Oop. brave news. The Tyranid Hive Mind's efforts continue to stymie our travels through the warp. Our last astropath suffers now in the effort to transmit this message to you, and only a few librarians and navigators remain to guide us. It is unlikely the Litany of Fury will ever emerge from the warp. But if this is to be our end aboard this vessel, we die with pride, because the Hive Mind's efforts have clearly cost it. Our surviving librarian reports that the Tyranid fleet's main hive ship even now approaches planet Typhon to feed. This is the gargantuan organism that houses the brain of the hive fleet. Your strike force can deliver a killing blow while it feeds. I have transmitted a tactical briefing to your planetary map display. On a final note, you may tell Captain Thule that the secrets of Cyrene die with me. Angelos out. Commander, we have received orders from Captain Angelos to deliver several concentrated biotoxin doses to you. I have readied a contingent of Imperial Guard veterans to provide you with additional firepower during this critical mission. More hindrance than help. Shot at Avatus. ...of Angel Gate, Commander. They see supporting you as a matter of duty. They will deploy in Valkyrie gunships and rendezvous with you on the surface of Typhon. Accept their help, Commander. In this battle, we are all brothers. Commander, I will remain aboard the Armageddon to provide fire support during your mission. And I will do the same from Thunderhawk 2. The Armageddon will not last long against an entire Hive fleet. It will last as long as we need it to, Cyrus. Getting the toxin to the capillary tower is all that matters now. Okay. But it did remember it will... Me Warp travel will miss heavily with the sh uh, the wool shot of the warp. And yeah. Yeah, but they lost a few hikers trying to deliver the message. It is, but I think it have been, they have been able to do it due, due to the being a shorter distance, but the further you are, yeah, the harder it gets. Yeah, the more and more so, it will feel like pushing through soup, I'm guessing. Thick soup yeah. at that. Yeah, do... Due to you trying to send it in close proximity, you have other problems like what we saw here. More deaths. Yeah, I, I, I guess the unsaid explanation is that the reason that we can jump around is because we are only making short jumps. Speaking, the, speaking in the general scope of the entire setting. Whilst uh, Angelos is, yeah, <laughs> he's having to haul ass across many, many, many light years to get here. Yeah, at least that's current theory. It could also be an oversight or something they had to. Our surviving yeah. Marian reports that the Tyranid fleet's main hive ship even now approaches planet Typhon to feed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the god. He that is just a repeat of what he said. I'm quite literally, I think, the, even the exact same words. But yeah, now we have access to the last mission here. And I think it's a decently lengthy one, though it it won't fill two hours. So maybe if we finish this before we hit the hour mark, we could do the rest of the stream with Chaos uh, Rising after a splitting the recording. I'd be up for that. Okay, so la one last check over everyone's gear then. We have uh, the fourth commander with the flamer. Not, so, not sure if this will be of use against the uh, Tyranids. We have Tarkas over here. Yeah, I don't think that will be of help, so let's give you the flamer. You need to get close for your grenades, and plus you will we'll be facing swarms upon swarms of Tyranids, so that thing is going to be a lot more useful. Avatus. Let's bring up the less heavy guns, but still heavy. And, well, the Dreadnought is just going to keep its freaking cannon. 
Okay, there are still some stuff, you know, some items here that we are just not high level enough to use, I believe. So let me just look those up and read them out. Let's see. Nibel Hammer of Truth, level 15, 9. Uh, let's see, Armaments of Victory. I think I've read this one. Uh, ta -ta -ta. For me, hmm. This Thunder Hammer and Storm Shield were released from the chapter armories for the first time in millennia after the Blood Ravens' defeat of Tau forces in the Kiwan engagement. I think I've read that one before, but I'm unsure. Uh, let's see, that's just a basic plasma rifle. 15, 13, okay, so only a few that we... Oh, right, we still have the... We have these two to still hand out. Though, Avatars would need two more levels to be able to use it, so I guess he's out of luck with that. <laughs> yeah, honestly, we do one of the side missions, but still... Even then, it's a bit unsure. Yeah, let's at least get a read on the Terminator armors. I think I've read one of these at least. Let's see. From the bell. Yeah, Louvre de Marm. And then chapter records indicate that this armor was lost. Yeah. Chapter Master Azariah Vidya. It's rediscovery. Yeah, that we've read that one as well. Okay, so let's actually not bring these because as fun as they were they <laughs> the force commander is going to be in a lot cl more close proximity than these will be really useful for they would have been better on avatus but yeah he needs two more levels actually maybe we can get him two more levels by just burning everything that we're not going to use because yeah this, this is the end of the game yeah i was thinking about that and forgot it so Okay. Should we do that? Uh, yeah, let's. let's see how close we can get. Uh, drop pod beacon. Hmm. Let's see. Oops, Cyrus got a level. Okay, let's just get here. I don't think there is a new game plus with this game. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's no real reason to not do any of this. Okay, but do we have enough material to even get him that second level? Definitely need to be, make sure that we don't burn the Terminator armors. Uh, also, we have... Actually, did we read these of the, <clears throat> the, yeah, the Primarch armors? Uh, let's see. Barding of Ultramar. This one is new. Let's see. This one is After, new. Okay. After the Battle of Tarsus Ultima, uh, Ultra, High Fleet Leviathan continued to, uh, to rampage onward, tendrils reaching into star systems far beyond. Ultramarines later fighting a desperate let stand. Uh, okay, we actually, we did read this one. Oh, yeah, this is where yeah. Blood Ravens deployed behind the Tyranids and pincered them. Okay. Hmm. And then favorite of Barry Dale. Just... Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's a, the blighted yeah. armor that we can't get rid of. Ultra Marines took on that planet very heavy losses. And that was their capital. However, yeah. it seems the game workshop forgot how severely damaged that well was from it. I uh, don't think we're going to reach this. But we're going to get as close as... Oh, we can't get rid of those. Or those. Okay. Nice that it doesn't let you get rid of required stuff. Or tech not required, but really useful equipment. So, yeah. <laughs> but this is not... Uh, Wait. Actually, I doubt slow. we will get enough. Yeah, I he needs one a... point more. But... If you do a shoe mission... You might be able to wait. Blighted armor. Yeah, yes, we can't sacrifice. Armor. Yeah, we the blighted can't? power armor. We we can't sacrifice this one. We've tried it multiple times now. Oh right, they they don't want it. Hmm. That's right. Yeah, let's pick this. Drop pod beacons and orbit bombardment beacons can be used twice. Nice. Hmm. If one of the submissions are very short, it might be enough. Yeah. 
Hmm. I'm looking at something to sacrifice with all of this. I think it'll be the melta bombs then to pull that off. Uh, I, don't, I think we turn. can't sacrifice them for they are not relics. Yeah, but I mean to give the the force commander ah. both of these the the drop oh, pod okay, okay. and the orbital bombardment. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's go there. Give you a little bit more health. Thule. Uh Yeah, you're getting your you're getting your your fury upgrades. The assault getting getting well explosive ammo to deal with them. And I don't you... know if you misspoke or misheard you. For first you said the hail of fury. <laughs> hail of fury. Yeah, for about three, a very angry hell, a few years hello? What? <laughs> okay, a actually, are any of these better for you? Let's see, two to will, energy, melee skill, explosive resistance, more melee skill, tube to stamina. Wait, what's this one? Didn't we have one that had ranged damage? Hmm, apparently not. Okay, let's put you into that one, and we'll just look between these two, which avatars will get then. And yeah, we can do one side mission then. Let's see, which are all the ones that we have available? A shotgun, a power fist, power sword, jetpack. We're main today one, all right? Okay, let's see. Is that the only defense? No, okay, no, most of... No. All of these are defense. This is one defense and one optional. So let's go here, do the defense, and see if that gets uh, Avatar's his level. Yeah. <clears throat> and then... Yeah, maybe give this, this one at least on one. one attempt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can't see me. Tall walls and vegetation can completely conceal your units from the enemy. Use this to ambush enemy troops and throw or throw grenades over the wall with impunity. <laughs> what would the yeah, now you see, see why I laughed a bit. Suffice it to know that they wish it, Avitus. And if we fail to protect the generators powering the foundry, they will have it. Okay. This shouldn't take too long. Devastator Marines ready for combat. Yeah, do we already spent about 13, 13 minutes on the trapping? <laughs> yeah, it is the last level, so it's probably also going to be the, the toughest, probably. Okay. Tacos grenades. Yeah. Spiders. Okay. Whoa, spiders! Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that meme. I cannot do that voice. <laughs> Without getting too loud. Okay. At the absolute least, we'll get. Uh, some materials to also sacrifice. Doom of the Mighty for more experience. Uh, where are you lot going? Forwards. Yep. Tarkus, pull back. Does warp spiders remain? A, a nuisance. <laughs> okay, you go defend there whilst you heal up. Doom of Champions, okay. That sounds that sounds useful. Uh in blue rank the highest or something? No, the, the highest we've seen so far has been purple. Okay. Other oops. Same direction. Okay, put you there, put you there, you lot there. Okay, let's actually have Tarkus hang back a bit to deal with any 
Borb's party has been trying to get sneaky. You move forward, there come the spiders. Oh, bloody heck. A moment I thought you were to crash, but I had a... Probably the first lag spider turned silent this year okay. in this court. I think they are watching something downstairs, uh, Netflix or something. Okay. Darkers, come forwards. They're not getting past this. Just as I say that, the freaking spiders jump in. Oh dear. Well, they can be worse. Okay. You Is get forward. Uh, uh, I forgot what the name is. <laughs> Dark Eldar. <Kaelian? laughs> Something? Uh, basically, war traveling crocodiles. A hunting pack. <laughs> okay. And hello there, Pyro. How are you doing today? Hello, Pyro. We're probably going to finish up this game today, but first we're doing one last extra mission to try and get Avatus a level up so he can use some bloody Terminator armor himself. Yeah, but boy, yo. At the moment, I would not be surprised if we are older than you. And I say that when I'm stroking my beard in real life. That's a level for the commander. Darkus, keep an eye out for the spiders. So yeah, now, uh, how are you doing, Pyro? If I didn't say that, uh, no, okay. Lysander's judgment. Okay. Hmm. Okay, get rid of those. Oh dear. Ooh, the enforcement is taking quite a bit of damage. Something I'm guessing the I'm guessing the seer council here. Ooh. I don't think we've seen a great lord do that much damage to that heavy armor before. That one does look a bit different from the others. Is it a special one? Uh, Maybe. Uh, yeah, not. Hmm. Okay, you go deal with them. These must be the last two. And there we go. Yep. <laughs> One final. Okay, where'd he. There'd he go. <laughs> this is the final warp spider on the planet getting chased by all of them. Oh, no, the <laughs> final assault still. Okay. Oh, damn it. Hmm. Actually, so we'll go for a walk. There, that'll open up the firing line a bit. Okay. I just immediately delete all of them. <laughs> yeah, that, that cannon. It, I'm so happy we got one. I feel like we're gonna need that damn cannon for the final mission. Ooh. Go deal with that. Throw a like, grenade on that. Dragon Fever is probably damn good against units, but that auto cannon? 
Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> that is going to cut absolutes. That's going to cut absolute sweet through them. Or however you. Yeah. W-E-S-W-E-A-E-A-T-H-S. I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to say it. Sweep? Uh, it's going to sweep through them, that as well. Uh, so you pull back. I'm not sure if he managed to get his... <laughs> uh, no, I don't think he managed to get the ability on. Uh, Okay, intercept him as he goes. Oh dear. I'm not sure. I feel like I need something. I mean, like a stack, you know. As I can do is an apple. <laughs> Okay, managed to get the heal off in time there. Well done, Commander. The foundry remains operational and under our control. Okay, did that get Avatars the level? Let's see. Mercy of Cle uh, the Celestine. Okay. Everyone stayed up. Eight minutes and still not. Okay. And we can deploy two more times today. And yeah, the old man got the the old man got the level. Everyone got levels nice. except for the backups. <laughs> the foundry is secure now, Commander. We are uncertain why the Eldar wanted the foundry. Usually, they do not care to use our technology. Okay, that's a repeat. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just check out these last bit, a few items then. Doom of the Mighty. Seek not the mantle of the mighty, for we are bound forever in service to the emperor and seek no renown. For us, there is only an eternity of war, and <clears throat> and we revel in our chance to prove ourselves worthy of his respect. Excerpt from the teachings of Chaplain Shadur. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put those in. Or oh, wait, we swapped out his armor, so he he lost the plus two to will. Okay. So that's why it was a one on on each of the, the abilities. Uh, Tarkus. Let's give you your last point in that, and one more point in stamina. Also, Lysander's Judgment. Named in honor of the first captain of the Imperial Fists, this massive thunder hammer is said to have met with its namesake scorn instead of his appreciation. I remember them not from the rolls of the Index Astartes, Lysander supposedly said of the Blood Ravens. <laughs> okay. Oh, and it's a minus armor weapon. Okay. Still a very powerful one, though. Okay, Avatus, you get your Terminator armor. Okay. Which of these? Hmm. Let's give you this one. I'm and we can re-equip these. <laughs> okay. Hmm. We don't have an assault cannon for him, though, but the default one is pretty strong with this, since the heavy bolter does well, almost, <laughs> almost only half of the same damage. Okay. So... Let's give you just a little bit more survivability. And let's see. Tomb of Champions. Fused by, the, you know, fused by a process lost to the Blood Ravens for two millennia, this adamantine armor plating is reserved for the Holy Dreadnoughts, allowing these chapters' greatest champions to continue their service to the Emperor. Okay, it's a little bit more... Uh, it's a little bit more, more accuracy. Mm, and more let's, Let's keep the one that we have, though, because of the, well, plus 15 range damage. Okay. Mercy of Celestine. As Saint Celestine gifted us with the example of our apotheosis, let us give the galaxy with the example of our enemy's immolation. Benediction of Saint Clair upon this weapon. Okay. Is that okay. a sister battle weapon? I think so. Okay. Now. 
let's head back here and we'll get started on the final mission or final story mission i i believe the game will just continuously produce more in the more side missions okay just for the sake of it a save commander your cruiser will punch its way into the mass of smaller Tyranid ships guarding the main high fleet. Once in position, the Armageddon will drop your hand-picked squad's fire drop pod toward the base of the massive capillary tower that is feeding the main hive ship. Thanks to the data you collected earlier, Apothecary Gordian has readied a special biotoxin. You are to poison the tower, and through it, the brain of the hive fleet itself. This should deal a lethal dose to the hive mind and send the hive fleet into disarray. One way or another, this will be the last battle of the defense of Aurelia. May the Emperor grant us victory. Angelos out. Okay, yeah. Final mission. This mission ends the Dawn of War II campaign. Over the command, all squads eventually deploy, so everyone gets to show up, so... We probably should have give, looked to give Cyrus and Thaddeus a bit more, uh, a bit better gear. And bonus intelligence, units must defend key points during this mission. Many brood hives are present in the target area. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we're not giving you that. Actually, we can give, yeah. <laughs> no, there's three of them walking around. Okay. Probably should have preserved at least one of the Thunder Hammer and Shields then, but oh well. And just actually. Okay, with that, Thaddeus has the second highest armor of everyone here due to this. Okay. Oh dear. And yet somehow we still get a, a ban a, an item for this, even though we won't be able to use it. Let's see. Uh, this battle standard celebrates two famous you know, Blood Raven victories. The victory against the Traitor Legions on Kronos and the victory against the Orc you know, Arc Marauder Borgor in Thrantius III. It's the second time we've had a, uh, heard a reference to that Orc. Uh, come and get me. Activate Targus's tactical advantage and its ability right after triggering his taunt. All enemies will direct their attacks at him, and he will be protected by, uh, against range damage. Okay. No melee. It, what? You, t you said come and get me. <laughs> it is for you, orders. You can then use your other squads to bring pain. Taunt is also useful for helping out squads that are in trouble. Trigger it, and the enemy for will forget about their current target and pile on Tarkas, who can take it. The vile intelligence at the heart of the high fleet has made itself vulnerable. Strike as its tendrils tap into the planet below. Feed it the poison we have developed. No matter the cost, you must bring it low. Get closer to the get closer to the mic, Gamorin or whatever his name was, Gordian. These veins are where you must deliver the biotoxin. You can repeat that in the chat. Armageddon, come in, come in. The first of the veins is ahead. Move out. Okay, yeah, we're getting interference because we're just getting so close, or rather, they are getting so close to the high fleet uh, mind. Yeah, though it might be used to be all the spores blocking the Vox uh, communication. Is that the shadow of walk? Scan us across the damn landscape. It'll take more than a few bruises to take us out of the fight, though. Let's see. I think that's the same names, uh, or quote-unquote names. 
No survivors from second. Right. Morris, form survivors into full squads and then inventory what gear we have left. Vagan, get the remains of the first squad into a perimeter and then get that blasted Ospex working. To war. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, that, that sergeant was named, I believe. He, he he said his name while we were talking, and he was also there during uh, during Angel Gates. Movement detected. Aliens on approach. So. Enemy attacks from the north. Oh right, dear. Man. These I... things are here to take our worlds away from us. I, for one, do not intend to let that happen. Form up into defensive firing lines. Commander, this you're on to. Tarantulas are ready to drop on your position if the word. Okay, let's take at least one of those. And you were going to say? I was going to say, I just noticed that the Space Marine had to share landing port with the Dreadnought. And it looked very cramped. Yeah, yes, it would be. Open fire! Another Okay. Now, let's see the assault cannon get to work, or at least the Terminator assault cannon. Tarkus. Okay, grenade danger close. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing Avatus actually use his gun that much. There we go. Get rid of all of the father. <laughs> Yeah, it is not going to like that, but it'll help him. Okay, are you using your bloody gun or not? Uh, there we go. He, he just needs a moment to set it up. Yep. So in trope. Everything he pour, he, either he's dealing so much damage that it just instantly dies the moment he pulls the trigger, or it takes him so long to set up it. By the time he finally shoots, it's already dead by something else. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be useful for. Get at. Okay, at least it should be good against bigger targets. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, there's gonna be more. Okay, the Imperial Guard pushed uh, too far that way, so they're gone. We can't control them? Nope. The heck? And it's Stormtrooper squad, alright. Yep. Okay. You go help over there for a moment. Yeah, I think we want as many pure cards as possible on our side. Okay. I think the progress is based on how many we kill, not how long we hold the line. Did they all die? Yep. Right. Hmm. Second platoon, third squad reporting for duty. 
Okay, we will get more nope, as things go. Toxin administered successfully, Commander. Okay. No, oh, big boy. Under attack. Uh oh. Fight these monsters in a twisted nightmare. The whole damn planet is infected. Commander, we need to administer another dose of biotoxin at a second site. There are exposed veins further along the ridge. Okay. Do you back? No, that was Tarkus. <laughs> He's right freaking here. I'm making Peter Gods and apparently going bad up there. Yeah. And yeah, there, there are more Imperial Guards that will spawn. Though I don't know if they'll be infinitely spawning or not. Ah, damn it! It's the second too late. And that was Sewell talking about, uh, yeah, the Armageddon being lost. Okay, I think there's a bit of a glitch going on because I'm pretty sure that their portraits are supposed to be showing up here as well, but they're not. Okay. Uh, Your order, moving. Tarkus, get Cyrus back up. There. Okay, yeah, these two we should keep at the back. As much as there will be a back, seeing as we're pretty much surrounded. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Administer the toxin. And, and this is basically the final stage of it. Biotoxin delivery. Starting now. Commander, north and south approaches are both vulnerable. Thunder Arc 2, Commander. We have taken heavy damage, but we can deploy additional tarantula sentence at your command. I am not in the taste of opposition. Say it now before the vigilant begins. Give the okay. Yep. This is basically the last stage in any Tyranid invasion because all of the biomass is being digested and dissolved in these pools here and being fed into the capillary towers which are feeding it into the high fleets. Yeah. Uh, this means they are gonna make more for these troops just to swarm the planet until they can just turn the entire planet into this then just I just have everything possible, then move on. Leaving the land a barren rock. Talk us forwards. There. I'm not looking at barren rock, let me drain the sea. Yep. Okay. You know, there are underwater variants of Tyranid just. Yeah, I don't think you get to see too much of those. Talk us forwards. Game Workshop does a... Uh, Navy version of the Warhammer 40k? <laughs> uh, probably unlikely. I, they have shown artwork of uh, sea vessels and such. But yeah. Okay, so we'll give them a warm welcome. Rather a thermite Ooh, welcome. Really? Okay, yeah. All the cannon along with some of them with the flamethrower. Yeah. <laughs> that works wonders. 
Ooh, oh, that, that even works in the guard. Okay. So we'll stop, stop waddling around. <laughs> uh, yeah, I reckon to, I saw the force commodios punch a tyranny about 50 uh, meters straight away. Okay, we can still select them with five and six. Just for some reason, their icons are not showing up. Okay. Now that uh, you move there, oh, oh. <laughs> the guards keep dancing around his legs. That's why he keeps walling around. Our brothers die of course. Go get them, you dumbasses! Cyrus is just picking shots wherever he can find them. Carcass, grenades. Target destroyed. Tear it down. We probably could have just told them to walk that, but oh well. Carcass back that way. Thaddeus. Left hand of the just. <laughs> Getting quite a bit of these. And then again, we are just facing massive amounts of them. So you lost someone, so pull back. Okay, the main point is defending the infection points. Anything else, including survival, is secondary. Actually, just walk through that tool. Okay, didn't even break the vein. <laughs> That's concerning, actually. Parker's back. Put down one more here. Step to it, man. There's tyrannids to kill. That easily done. Target destroyed. It is poisoning 75% complete. Okay. Holy so many! It is done. Okay, here come more Imperial Guards. Teleport back, regroup. I said regroup. Grenades. There we go. Reposition. And return. Always assuming this works. Tearing it aflow! Reposition and bar with me, bro. Under attack. Target killed. That's doing something. Yes! Die, you alien scum! Yeah! Alright! Thank the Emperor! Surely this isn't over. Not the war guardsmen, no. But our part in it. Is at an end. If I recall correctly, his name is Merrick. But the hives here on the ground will recover soon enough. And I can assure you that we will not last long. And the Armageddon is gone. We have nowhere to fall back to. Come, Thaddeus. Did you imagine any of us would return from this mission? No. I suppose I did not. But I cannot imagine a better end than this. 
Then I guess we gotta take as many of the damn bugs with us as we can. Well said, Sergeant. Well said indeed, Avatus. <laughs> For once, Avatus gives a compliment. Brothers, make yourselves ready. And may we meet again at the right side of the Emperor. Yeah. And now it just becomes a fight until <laughs> there's nothing left to kill or be killed by. It, that came out wrong. And as many Tyrannians as possible. There. Oop. Two Carnifax. Avatars take aim at that one. Tool is shooting up the other one. Carcass cover our back. Okay. This might be a good time to start using these. Okay, what exactly hit that one? Because I, I aimed it over here, or does it target... Is it able to target across the map or something? Sure. I'm getting readings from one of the beacons, Commander. Marking it on map display. <laughs> and Gabriel gets to play big goddamn heroes. Get to cover and cut them down. Okay, yeah, we need to punch through to here. And get the hell out of here. Attack move there and we'll see what that does. <laughs> Yeah, oh, there is a thing. The thing they probably targeted was probably unaware at this moment, a known queen. But once those die, yeah, the whole thing will, everything will panic. But they will automatically move away from the planet and give birth to a new one. But, yeah, when you give up the new new queen, they do want to be away from combat as far as possible. Yeah. Okay. Get rid of these. And then we have a clear shot. But again, is there, is there only temporarily stopping the Tyranids? Okay. You know, even temporarily is better than just letting them feed. Yeah. Okay, Thaddeus, to you the honor to capture this one. Just stomp around and <laughs> destroy all the blocks. This reminds me of the intro to one of the Alien vs. Predator movies. There are two few Predators on top of that temple one, and almost Xenomorphs just warms the temple stair. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. We gotta hold out a little bit longer. Tearing it down. <laughs> and yeah, we have plenty of firepower, literal and figurative, to keep them at bay like this. this yep. We keep getting these. Tearing it down. Taste the fury of the blood ravens. <laughs> Commander, we have one more task in this cursed place. The hive mind is using a powerful alpha creature to maintain control over its land-based forces on this world. We must kill this beast. 
It will fall, Captain Angelos. The beast nests at the top of these ruins. Move out when you are ready, and I will accompany you. The rest of our forces will guard our flanks. Yep, Gabriel himself is coming along to put an end to this thing. Hi, <laughs> Turret Alpha? Yep. First time we were Alpha. Let's see. I, I pretty much he, he pretty much acts like an up, uh, an alternate or upgraded force commander. Let's see. My fo oh self fall. Designate a single target. It takes increased damage for a short period. And sunder armor. Break any protective barriers on a unit. Okay. Wait, is, does that mean like super armor or something like that? Because. Oops. Post we meet. Of course, the, the actual would be weird if we did not have a final boss fight. Yeah. Okay, so let's give this thing everything we have. Pull back a bit. Cyrus, back off after you take a shot. Thaddeus, keep on its knees. It, it feels surprisingly... It goes almost too well, I say. Like, sure, we have the entire team and Angulus, but still... Yep. Cyrus. Put in the... Cyrus, get out of there. <laughs> so we'll pull... Uh, uh, no need to pull back too much. Heal everyone, just to be sure. And there we go. Chapter and the sector owe you a great debt, Space Marines. We did our duty, Captain. Nothing more. Few could have done it better, Cyrus. <laughs> Below, the tyrant beast lies dead. Above, the high fleet is in disarray. This is your work, Commander. With only a handful of Space Marines, you held back the stop. But this is no time to relax our guard. The High Fleet is already splintering. Our vessels can kill many, but some splinters will escape. Subsector Aurelia is saved, but she's hardly unscathed. Yet the Blood Ravens endure, undaunted and unborn. <laughs> uh, yeah, that smallest one there is the same size as the Armageddon, our mobile HQ of all <laughs> of all this game. So yeah, big fucking ships, huh? I thought those the small ones were supposed to be the biggest ones. Nope. The little one was bigger than that. <laughs> Let's see. Your strike force has beaten uh, has beaten the Tyranid High Fleet and defended subsector Aurelia. With the central high fleet dead, the high fleet has splintered. The battle to eliminate the last traces of the Tyranids will be long and hard, but uh, the chapter is up to the task thank thanks to heroes such as you. <laughs> Um, this high this was. <laughs> now that you mentioned that, I don't think they actually say that. Yeah. Okay. And this is our final score of 38,267. <laughs> if we had just two points more, huh? Uh, oh dear. Huh? <clears throat> yeah.
Yeah, this is just the intro oh. repeated. <laughs> yes, you know. <laughs> but yeah, that was Dawn of War 2, or at least the base game of it. But yeah, let's let the intro... No, not the intro. The, let's let the intro cinematic run over the credits. <laughs> And yeah, we'll see you after. Yep. As obvious, very much not like uh, the first Dawn of War. And definitely some weak points in the repeat stuff and such, like the map getting repeated. But overall, I think I still prefer this game over Dawn of War 1 on a character basis at the absolute least. Yeah, I like both. For each different reason, but I do feel like if you would combine the first game with this one, you would have a very good one if you do it right. Like, yeah, it would be have... hard to figure out a balance between. Yeah, not really, for we have games that have done that already, like uh, the latest Spellforce games. Okay, actually, or I actually have never played. Any... I've actually yeah, never you? played any Spellforce game. Beyond the first one. Well, the first one is actually a good comparison. Like you have, mm. you have, you have your heroes. These are you gear up just like here, mm. and they keep the point, gear, yeah. whatever, whatever you use uh, throughout the campaign. But you, most of the games still play like in the first game of Dawn War. Good point, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So now you see what I mean. Combine the best of the both worlds. For these, this one have very good. Things for the characters to lead your armies. That definitely would flavor it up a bit. Yeah. Hmm. Now I'm actually thinking what if they do a Dawn of War 4 in a style like that? Alright, that was something that was missing from the intro. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that also functioned as the trailer for the game. Yeah. <clears throat> Holy. Well, yeah, but... if they do don't go for... I hope they combine the first game and second game in... Ah, let's see what I told you. The yeah, sort of spell-like. Yeah. Base spelling like... part... <laughs> yeah. uh, and squad base, like the first game, with all base squads. But the heroes part definitely from this game you will be borrowed from. Yeah, maybe give a bit more... Uh, maybe put a bit more emphasis on the uh, awesome rewards or something. Like, have it be on a Necron tomb world that's awakening or something. That you have to weigh your options. Well, if you do this or that, then that certain things might come to bite you in the finale or later on. Uh, but other things will lead to uh, like getting assistance. Like at certain points, you might need to choose between assisting the sister Sororitas or the Imperial Guards, with probably a chance to assist both, but. The biggest chance that if you choose one, that the other side is going to be severely weakened, if not entirely wiped out. Which, yeah, could maybe play into if you can recruit them later on or such things. Hmm. Possibly. <laughs> Hopefully, they will look into it to see what worked and what did not work. Yeah, like you, you had said before that. There were rumors of a new Dawn of War game in the works, or maybe a, a remake of the first. Yeah, for... After what happened to Sega recently, they're probably gonna focus more on the Warhammer IP they're allowed to do. But they know that sells, and they know they had success with it in the past. And they probably also knew what worked and did not work at this rate. Yeah. <laughs> And well, uh, Games Workshop needs the good PR because they've, from what I've heard, they've been stepping in it a lot recently. 
with the models and such. Yeah, hmm. their prices and all that. Yeah. Voice actor Ian Gregory, Stephen Blum, James Horan, Philip Anthony Rodriguez, Fred Tati Skuri, Brian Dobson, Ian. Okay, <laughs> Gordian and the Apothecary as well, Stephen Blum from Metallus, uh, Fred and uh, Brian Dobson again. <laughs> Wait, Robert Duncan Atkins was one of the orcs? Yeah, multiple orcs. <laughs> okay. Additional orcs. Christine Dunford. Again, him. Again. Okay, a lot of people were doing double and even triple or quadruple duty. Yeah, do not actually impressive and when you have voice actors here who can really emulate different kind of voices. Yeah, it was Merrick, after all, it seems. And I'm pretty sure he returns either in Chaos Rising or Retribution. Winking? Actually, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a guess that that's an Eastern company from the last name, so it might be a, a different meaning over there. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that, that would make sense. Okay, but yeah, uh, I yeah I know that Merrick returns in Retribution because one of the factions that you can play there is the Imperial Guards, or was it the Inquisition? I, actually, I think it was a mixture of the two. And yeah, Merrick becomes a hero unit there. Okay. So they are only one of six uh, factions that you can play as there. And, uh, well, we already know which we're going to be when we get there. Tyramids! <laughs> now, they are available as well, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Bolterandchainsword.com. Okay, I'm guessing that's a fan site of sorts? Hmm. Alienware. Is Alienware still a thing? I think so. To all our families, fr friends, families, and fans, we made this game to be enjoyed and celebrated. Thank you for all your love and support. <laughs> yeah. Still a good game. Do I feel like whoever the, the dislike this, they could just they could just have a maybe a different name, and most people would probably be enjoying this even more. But yeah, like calling it, it's making it an. They could have made it its own separate little uh, franchise or fra series in the franchise. Uh, not sure what they would have would have would or could have called it though. But yeah, I can see why the fans of the original Dawn of War might dislike this one on certain things. Yeah, in my case, I would have liked both. <laughs> okay, and. That was yep, an hour and about five minutes. So, yeah, shall we cut the recording and use the rest of the time for Chaos Rising then? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've been do we've been having these split streams a lot lately, huh? <laughs> yeah, but I kind of don't mind it at the moment. Yeah. Since they have been rather well timed so far. <laughs> like, yeah. there have been time in very it's worth doing. Okay, so for everyone who has been watching just for Dawn of War 2 base game, thank you all for watching and see you all next time. Be safe everyone and see you all soon in uh, Chaos Rising.